Good afternoon, Lapeer community. Matt Wandry, Superintendent of Schools, here with a 2019 bond election update for you. Proud to announce that at last night's board meeting, uh, our, our Board of Education members officially approved to call the election, placing the language in the ballot, uh, which has um, uh, been done this afternoon. And so we're ready to move forward with the information uh, campaign to get all the answers um, to the questions you have about the bond, um, when the election takes place, uh, the cost of what we're proposing, the very detailed project list, We'll have renderings available. Uh, documents like this called our key takeaways are gonna be available today on our district website. So please visit lapeerschools.org. Click on the 2019 bond icon to get uh, this information and much more. Um, a couple of things we wanted to point out that are really important, I think, as some of the key talking points to this proposal, um, in addition to all the information that we're gonna post on the website, is that this really is a grassroots, uh, parent-led proposal um, we have talked to over 600 people in the community, staff, alumni, business leaders, uh, students, elected officials, um, and the plan has really changed since the beginning inception when we launched it in September. Um, there's going to be more community uh, interaction to come uh, where you have the opportunity to ask questions, um, but we also know that a really big question about this is cost, and this key takeaways document does a really nice job of kind of outlining why the district is considering this transformational proposal, um, the actual date, November 5th of the election, the major items covered uh, in the bond, the, the project list, but the proposal of an increase of 1.94 mills, I really want to put into context for our community uh, this afternoon. The current debt levy for all of our school district in Lapeer County is listed on this document as of 2018, and Lapeer Community Schools debt levy of 2.75 is the lowest in the in the county compared to our four uh, partner districts. Um, we, even with this increase of 1.94 to cover the 94.9 million dollars of this bond, we'll still be the second lowest in the county, which is remarkable. So the district is not carrying a lot of debt and therefore not levying that cost to our taxpayers. Um, in addition, uh, we've heard a lot of question and pushback about the dollar amount of the bond, but understand, and it's as outlined on this document, um, literally every single facility that will remain in the district is going to undergo some type of improvement, whether it's safety and security, technology, heating and cooling improvements and upgrades, parking, um, and, a, and a variety of upgrades are included in this in addition to some of the major ticket items that you see in the project list. So the average cost will be less than $12 a month for uh, taxpayers in our school district's borders. And we think that is a tremendous value given the depth and breadth of this proposal. So like I said, um, we're excited to officially begin our campaign as of August 8th, 2019. So much more to come, not just information on the website. There's gonna be plenty of contact with local media outlets like the county press. Um, in addition, I personally will be speaking to a number of community organizations that have already begun to do that work. And we will, as always, host additional kind of question and discussion community forums. And finally, we are establishing four major uh, primary committees um, that are parent-led that will help get out the vote information, address questions that you have in the community. And so you'll be seeing these folks um, are in and around district events from now until November 5th. So we're very, very hopeful to gain your support uh, in this endeavor, but we also know that it's such a big project and such a large undertaking that you're gonna have more questions. So as always, we'll be available for that. Visit lapeerschools.org for more information. Email me directly at mwandry at lapeerschools.org or call the main office and I'll be more than happy to meet with, talk with, and answer questions of anyone in our community um, that has them. So again, also excited to begin the 2019-20 school year. We've already welcomed back our year-round families and students and staff, and that's gone off without a hitch. So we're really excited to welcome the rest of our staff back in the last week of August and our students. So have a great rest of the summer, and we really look forward to the interactions we'll have moving forward about the 2019 bond proposal. Thank you.